Post-game press conference with uh, head coach Todd Hoffner and players Shane Zilstra and Zach Robertson. Uh, we'll begin with a statement from coach, then we'll open it to questions. Thanks, Nick. Uh, appreciate uh, everybody coming here today and taking some time to visit with us. Uh, great season by Minnesota State, Maverick football. Our seniors uh, should be congratulated for a phenomenal 13-1 season, regional championship, national semifinalists. Uh, did a lot of great things, overcome a lot of adversity through the years or through the games, excuse me, and uh, today was just a, um, a deficit we couldn't overcome. You know, the game was tight, 28-25, uh, and it just got away us, from us at the end. But uh, give Ferris State all the credit. They came here uh, and got the job done, and they're moving on to the national championship. Uh, in that third quarter, you guys were running the ball so effectively. And a couple times you started to pass with. I mean, you just look back at it and maybe regret just not keep Nate down and going like you did last week? I, I don't, you know, run or pass. They were doing a pretty good job on defense uh, all in all. So, you know, it took uh, a mistake by them right before half for us to get three points. And other than that, uh, they held us to 22 on the day. Um, so it was it was tough sledding, run or pass. Uh, we, had do, we did some good things. Uh, but I don't think we could have ran, you know, 10, 12 run plays in a row and been successful. Todd, that uh, collection of athletes uh, in the skill positions, pretty, uh, pretty good crew there. Right? One more time, I'm sorry. Fair State's collection of uh, athletes there at the skill positions. Uh, those were some, uh, some fast fellows. Yeah, for sure. I thought they had a lot of gifted and talented players uh, on the perimeter and. Quarterback's outstanding. He's a Harlan Hill candidate for a reason. And uh, I thought their line on both sides of the ball did a really good job, too. You know, so they're a very well rounded football team. Uh, they're 15 and 0 for a reason. And uh, it's unfortunate that we ended our season against uh, uh, another team at Flexley Stadium. Zach, what made them so tough to defend there? Um, just a lot of different look that we had last week. You know, last week. At Tarleton, it was we knew what we were going to get. There wasn't a whole lot of trade shift in motion. And then uh, this week, they, they did a good job of moving their guys around to get players in space. And they made a couple plays, and we missed a couple. You guys covered that little pass out to the flat time and time again, and then boom, one 55 yarder in the game. <coughs> so I thought they converted. Uh, on fourth down earlier in the game, and then also they scored a touchdown late in the game when the game was 28-25. So, um, you know, obviously it was uh, something that we got to put our players in a better position to make plays. And uh, I think that's, you know, it's on us as coaches to refocus and relook at what we did and, and try and help these guys out in a better way. I know you didn't plan on passing 48 times, but did you think you were going to have to pass a little bit more today? Women, you've had to most of the season. You know, we wanted to be balanced uh, today, and we wanted to get on the scoreboard. And you know, we went for it numerous times on fourth down, which we thought was necessary in order for us to uh, compete with their very explosive offense. And uh, I thought defensively held up really well for a very long time, uh, and then it got away from us a little bit at the end. But uh, that offense is electric and uh, very explosive and, and tough to defend. Uh, and I, you know, just it was it was a tough day, and we had to put more points on the board than them in order to come away with the victory. Shane, obviously you're disappointed in not winning today, but as you look back on the 14 games, just what are your thoughts on how things went this year? Well, we didn't. We advanced the program like we always talk about. Uh, we got one more win than last year, but that wasn't our ultimate goal. Our ultimate goal is to win the national championship, and we didn't get it done. So, I mean, we're gonna. Realize that and use that in the off season, um, and just just to feed us, and make us work. Shane, was it a tough day catching a, catching a football or not for a Minnesota kid? Not that. Right? Not too bad. I've grown up here, so it's always cold. Uh, Coach, I look going into next season. You only have eight seniors graduating this year. Um, how positive are you staying going into the? this coming off season and going into next season? You know, we, we have six seniors, and I love every one of them, six and we're going to miss them. And uh, they did such a great job of leading this football team. And 
I don't know, you know, we did a lot of great things last year and we have the same exact record, but we went one further spot in the playoffs and another round, right, getting to the fourth round of the playoffs. But, uh, you know, I I want to give all of our seniors their due and, and they were really special. And, you know, Zach and Shane are going to be seniors already, you know, after today. It's, uh, it's now their senior season and uh, we expect, you know, great things out of every class that we have. Uh, but uh, a high regard for the senior class and what they accomplished being one of only three teams in the history of Maverick football to make it to the national semifinals. And we're optimistic, obviously, right, about next year, but it's, uh, it's a tough pill to swallow today. Now, now do you think the, the passing game is going to have to get more dynamic? Because when you get to this level, it seems like it's the same kind of team that you face that throws it around a lot with a lot of plays in space. And do you think, think maybe you just over the offseason, you're going to have to advance your own passing game a little bit like that? Yeah, we'll have to take a look at what we did. You know, we, we won 13 games of who we are and what we did and uh, how we did things. And uh, I think we always need to take a look in the mirror as coaches and do a better job of putting our players in a position to make plays. But, uh, you know, give Ferris State credit. They did a great job of really shutting our run down. And, you know, out of all the runs we had, they we had very few breakout plays where we're getting 10, 12, 15, 18 yards in a chunk. So uh, I think you're always going to look in the mirror and hopefully you do things a little bit differently to help our players succeed. Uh, this question goes to Zach. Um, so the quarterback, Jai Rude, so whenever um, there's a lot of runs where he keep pushing toward the pile and it really looked like the opposite line kept pushing. Um, what made him so hard to tackle, and is there any, looking back on it, is there any like adjustments you would have made? Um, he's just a, he's a 6'5", big, I mean, he's 220 pound quarterback, <coughs> like coach said, he's a Harmon Hill candidate, guy ran hard, and kept his legs moving. I, we fit the plays, and then they got, they fell forward for a few extra, a couple times. Just to Jack, yeah. What adjustments did you make into the third quarter there? Because I think it was at least three straight possessions where you, you, you stopped them. Did you guys do anything different at that point? Uh, yeah, they were uh, they were layering guys into the boundary. So they were, they were packing receivers into the boundary. And uh, we weren't accounting for all of them. So then we made an adjustment with the uh, backside uh, corner to uh, stop that. And it worked pretty well for a few series there. Thanks, guys.